This Saturday the 20th marks the 50th anniversary of the first human to ever set foot on the moon. We're looking back at the Apollo 11 mission and the historic worldwide space race all week. Today, the inspiring story of Poppy Northcutt, the first woman working in mission control, and the role she played in getting Apollo 11 into space. In the mid-1960s, it was a man's world, and the space program is no different. But in the midst of a sea of men, one woman stands out. Her name is Poppy Northcutt. I was the only woman in mission control and worked in an operational support role. There were more hooping cranes in Texas than there were women that were doing the kind of work I was doing. Women had three professions they could go into. You could be a nurse, you could be a teacher, or a secretary. I had a math degree. I was probably, more than anything, I suppose, expecting to be a teacher. But once I was there and doing the work, after a very short period of time, I thought, you know, I can do the stuff these engineers are doing. They're not really smarter than I am. It is Poppy's jobs to make sure the astronauts safely return to the Three, Earth. Two, one, zero. The main thing that was always on your mind was that if you didn't do your job right, they would not live through it. Poppy's status as one of the few women in NASA brings added pressure. I absolutely felt extra pressure. I was suddenly being interviewed by television people, radio people, newspaper people. And I was very aware that I was the first and only woman that was doing this. And I wanted to put a good foot forward so that other women would be interested and come into the program. Today, women make up close to 30% of employees at NASA, including many female astronauts in the space program. Coming up this evening, we look at Apollo 8, the first mission that orbited the moon and how the crew for Apollo 11 was chosen. The Apollo Chronicles, our four hour long special, starts at 5 p.m. on Sunday and tells the story of the man's first step on the moon and the more than one billion people watching it all around the world like it's never been told before.